BTL, Restore Belize, and Belize Association of Insurance and Financial Advisors held a youth rally this afternoon for over 600 Belize City students. They were there to hear a high-powered panel of professional mot motivational speakers from Mexico, United States, Cuba, and Colombia. The idea was to educate the youths of Belize about the benefits of living a positive lifestyle and inspire them to do the same. Dr. Dion Miranda explained. We had these great speakers in the country. They were here at an insurance congress and they offered their time at no cost because they really wanted to do something for Belize. And we thought it was a no-brainer. I mean, building the fiber of our country, the dreams, the, the getting rid of the inhibitions of our young people is most important for all of us. As a corporate sponsor, I mean, we didn't only do this on our own. I mean, we brought in other companies, you know, the Radisson and, and um, the Lodge at Char Creek and Bowen and Bowen and, and Grace Kennedy and everybody joined in together because we believe that these people really are our future. They're our leaders and if we don't take care of them, grow them, develop them. I mean, the soul needs to be nurtured in this country. We're in, a, we're in tough times and if we take care of our young people, then our future is set and we're going to have a great future. This is every second form in Belize except for Sadie Vernon because they're having exams. But this morning we were in San Pedro and we did San Pedro High School and corporate. Tomorrow we head to San Ignacio at 1045 and we're going to be doing the entire San Ignacio, Santa Elena, Benquera. A thousand kids will be present. So this is over 4,000 people being touched, their lives being made different by something like this, knowing that they can make their life happen. It's, it's, it's an awesome event and like I said, it's about them, not us. Consuelo Kickbush, she's a retired Army Colonel, really hard life. She was abused by many men in her life. She had a really difficult mother who really treated her badly. She rose to forgive her and now she's a self-made millionaire after coming out of the barrio in, in, in Laredo, Texas. Then there's um, Roy Juarez. Roy's mother was beaten every day by her father and finally his fa the mother left the father but ended up leaving the children for another man and leaving the children homeless. He raised his three siblings on his own and he went through a lot of hardship and pain and it was, it was distrust, but now he's learned to forgive all of them and, and now they're all back together. Forgiveness is another key message here today. Then there's Pamela Perkins. Pamela talks about the importance of understanding you, not allowing the world to define you, you defining yourself and making the impression that you want to make. The world will define you from what you give off and you have to set that pace. And then finally, Bert Oliva. He's the wealth advisor to Donald Trump. He does this for business. He grows large corporations, but he's turning it into something for kids and he's well known around the world. But his thing is, make it happen. Don't sit on the sidelines. You gotta play the game. If you're on the bleachers all the time, you'll never win the, the championship. And that's what it's all about. The team of motivational speakers head to San Ignacio town tomorrow where they will be talking to over a thousand students of the Kaya district.